Enough of them boy, them feel like we new to this But like them don't know self and pawn for this Evil outside What's good? J Sauce reacts back another video, back another reaction. I've been smelling good, feeling good, looking good 24 7. Never lacking, man. I told y'all I was gonna start getting into these uh, backgrounds of the documentaries and things like that. I just finished the Rebel Six, uh, the first interview. Not his first, but my first interview of his, you feel me? And I feel like I learned a little bit of information to put me up ahead a little bit, but we still gotta dig deeper and dig deeper and dig deeper, you feel me? So. Besides the interviews, we got to get into this roster game, the roster city game. You feel me? We got to see what the hell be going on out there. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's just talking about how it started up, how it was founded. I'm not for sure what it's about. You feel me? But we just about to get into it and see what we can learn today. Let's get it. Another bloody night has played at the Port of Spain division with three meters and a spate of shootings in the Lavantil area. Reports are that in St. Bob's around 9.30 on Wednesday. It said bombs. Hold on. She said bombs. That in St. Bob's around 9.30 on Wednesday evening, Dexter huh? Polskin Joseph, an alleged leader of the St. Bob's arm of Rastas. Oh, she was saying the gang name. Okay, 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 okay. Damn, the leader died that night? Is that what she, Hold on. Rasta City gang was killed. Another man identified as Joel Moore or Thinners was also shot. Unconfirmed reports said that he died as well. This as a spate of gunshot explosions in the St. Paul Street area was heard with no fatality. Ah, damn, he letting the whole clip out. That's what it sound like. That's what, that's what it's about to sound like in like two days. So like the fireworks, Fourth of July, it's like that. That's what it be sounding like with the fireworks. But this, this is real bullets. Somebody is getting touched with these. And later on, at about a quarter to two this morning, Dawn Grant, who was being transported home from work, was shot in the head. She was still in the damn. car in which she was being transported. The driver drove straight to the Bessel Street Police Station. Ms. Grant, who lived at Mova, was rushed to the Port of Spain General Hospital, where she died hours later at 4.30 a.m. Another passenger in the same car was also shot and remained in fuck? critical condition. Police are in... What did do you two with the... Video? What the hell? Now, we just left Canada, and we're going to head all the way down to Trinidad and Tobago, you know, in a city they call Port of Spain, you know, one of the most... Tobago. Tobago, my guy. <laughs> deadliest islands, one of the most deadliest places you can ever go to, you know, and that being Trinidad and Tobago, you know, although it's so beautiful, so relaxing, the women is beautiful, the vibe is nothing more than what you I bet. Be in your I life. bet. But it's much more to it than that. It's just the beauty of it. You know. All right. The sights of the island, the beautiful women, you know. It's a lot of gangster stuff going on down there, man. It's like Yo, these chains is crazy, dog. Like that might as well be a belt, my nigga. You might as well have like a earring a a belt earring. Like what the, this is this bro. Just imagine walking. That shit would be all in the way, like nigga. God damn. Drugs, a lot of killing, and it's a whole lot of gangs. So we're gonna touch into a gang out there. They call Rasta City Gang. And they deadly war that they got with another gang called the Muslim Gang. Now, Nines. A Trinidadian man named Tr Spat Trinidadian, Trinidadian. Bro, why is this nigga? Why is he pronouncing this shit like that? <laughs> why is he? He needs, bro. <laughs> On behalf of him, I'm sorry, y'all. And it started what is said to be one of the two most deadliest gangs in Trinidad. In Tobago. Now, their stronghold is the neighborhood of Beatham Gardens in the port of Spain. Now, Rasta City has a bloody but more deadly war with another gang called Muslims Gang. Now, to all my Muslim brothers and sisters who are watching this video, let me apologize for the name that this gang has chosen as theirs. But it has nothing to do with the religion. It has more so to do right. with the following of another man who tried to take control of the island. And we're going to get in there. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Rasta City and the Muslims gang 
have been at it since 1990. After God, Jamal yeah. Al Muslimin tried. 1990? Bro, I thought y'all said it was like peaceful and stuff before. And then, you know, bells started ringing eventually. I thought all of this gang war stuff was like recent. Like, so you telling me this stuff been happening for like, like damn near 30 years? Over 30 years? to take control of the island now rasta city has strong ties to drug gangs and cartels in colombia and venezuela for their cocaine and marijuana pipeline their leader spanish was nearly assassinated twice now spanish was well respected because he built new apartments and held soccer matches at parties to help the community That's but dope. sometimes the muslim gang and other gang members will come shoot it up now, 46 year old. But for what though? Like shooting up a whole community event. That's how you know they just ruthless and don't give a fuck. Like you're telling me you couldn't wait until like I leave from getting around from the these civilians that don't don't got nothing to do with the gang wars. You go you to come shoot that shit up. Like like are you serious? <sighs> That's sad, bro. Because he built new apartments and held soccer matches at parties to help the community. But sometimes the Muslim gang and other gang members will come shoot it up. Now, a 46 year old corporational driver was ambushed by two Rasta City members when they shot him seven times. He was killed for living in the Muslim gang territory. In 2019, Damn. one of the Rasta City gang leaders was killed. He was killed along with three others when they were ambushed by other Muslim gang members. Now the Rasta City gang not only has a bloody war and feud with the Muslim gang, but they also have a bloody war with 20 other gangs that share the same city as them. Now a 16 year old was caught in a crossfire while standing in the back of his home. He was just trying to get Wi-Fi. You know, he was killed Damn. from a battle and war. Bro was just trying to upload a pic real quick for the gram and got knocked off the map that's crazy that stem between two streets who are literally next to each other and he so happens to live on one of those streets now a few of those gang members climbed over a hill that just so happened to be behind his house with intent to kill anyone from over there it didn't matter if he was part of that gang or not their intentions and their plans was to come over and kill anybody from that neighborhood and that 16 year old just so happened to be one of those people Although he wasn't a gang member himself, he was still killed. Now, in 2020, 51 members from the Rasta City and Muslim gang were arrested with connections to numerous murders and shootings and also numerous drug dealings. What? Now, the they, they, they pulled a Rico out on their ass? The government actually did something about that? That's crazy. Rasta City is said to be behind the death of a man who went viral on YouTube after his death for being buried in two million dollars in jewelry and Timberland boots. Now, I will also make a video on his crazy story and death as well. Now, the Rasta gang killed him and his brother, you know, Damn. and the Muslim gang then tried to kill his wife numerous times. Now, the Muslim gang was his bodyguards and homies to the guy. Now. After his death, like I said, I'll touch on a video of that because it gets real crazy. The Muslim gang was hired by his then family to try to kill his wife to take control of the money and all the assets that was left behind after the passing of him. Now, the Muslim gang continuously tried to kill his wife, you know, but they missed her every time. And they killed three of her friends trying to kill her each time. You know, now, the leader of a Rasta City gang who was a young man, but he was 22 years old at the time. His name was a Akini Doe, you know, and uh, Akini Doe Adams, man, he was nothing to play with, you know. He was killed by the police inside of a house, you know, uh, uh, that, that stemmed from a shootout when they came. I think I got him in my queue, bro. Akini Doe, I think I do. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think he was on some real ruthless ish. Let me know if y'all want to see that, because I, I, it's crazy. I just added that today. Braden looking for him because he was wanted for a murder that happened in 2017. Now, I will also do a video on him. Now, Akeem Doe was nothing to play with, man. He was a top dog. He uh, he somewhat made the most money. He controlled the percentage of the pop uh, of, of the drugs that came from within that side of his town, you know. What was that? 
That man was dangerous. He was very feared and he didn't play no games. Now, police said the murder of a high-ranking Rasta City gang member sparked a war like no other. That led to numerous, numerous, numerous murders and numerous shootings, you know. And the police, what's so crazy is they blame him for getting killed that started the war. <laughs> so they mad at the man who got killed for starting this gang war that led to numerous murders <laughs> took place after the death of him. You know what I'm saying? Now, that one man sense. exited a vehicle and approached this man. You know, as the Rasta City gang member saw who was walking up, he tried to take off running. You know, he was shot at several times before he collapsed and he died. You know, now a Damn. famous dance hall artist, Sia Boss, who was once a Rasta City member. Sia Boss? Who was that? Sia Boss? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sia, who, who? Because that name seemed familiar. Who is Sia Boss, y'all? Hold on. But then turned Muslim gang to convert back to uh, his, his his beginnings and his teachings, you know, of, 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 the, of the man who everybody followed from then to now become what is now the Muslim gang. You know, he wanted to come back to that, you know. Now, it was a, a suspicious call. It was a call that was uh, given to the police about a suspicious vehicle that was filled with armed men. Now, police came up, saw what was going on, and one thing led to another. They sprayed the whole car up killing him damn you know now rasta city has no religion ties to rastafari in jamaica they just so happen to take on the name now i know a lot of y'all probably think of man rasta city man ain't this something that got going on with jamaica nah man it has nothing to do with that although they do sport the colors of jamaica they do sport the colors of rastafari you know they All right. support it within that way but they have nothing to do with that I wonder, they why they did, I wonder why they chose Rasta. You know what I'm saying? And the Muslim gang that I am referring to, this isn't the same as those who follow the religion. This Muslim gang is a following of Jamaat al muslimin You know, although you will see almost all of them wearing Muslim garments and jihads. But don't let that fool you. They are deadly and dangerous. They kill for nothing and for control. And if you so happen to kill one of them, your only chance in surviving is leaving Trinidad. Now, Damn. Stop. A lot of people would hear this video and automatically assume religion. Automatically assume the Rastafari and, and, and the Muslim religion is at. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When y'all first was telling me about Muslim Muslim gang, I think Muslim city, Muslim gang, um, I thought it was like religion based as well. It had nothing to do with the religion. Two street gangs, ties has nothing to do with the religion whose reasons and ways of doing what they do as far as killing, drug dealing, kidnapping, and human shootings, and whatever they have planned has nothing to do with them doing it for the Rastafari, for them doing it for Allah. It has nothing to do with that. It's simply two gangs who's trying to take control. Two gangs who have the power. Two gangs who have that I'll meaning fight the power. guns to stand on the business that they coming and pushing and holding against the whole island of Trinidad. Now, a 36-year-old Rasta City member was killed by his own Rasta City gang after huh? they claimed he continuously let Muslim gang members chase him out of his own area. What? So y'all kill him? Bro, what? Why didn't y'all just help bro out? Like, he clearly couldn't handle the people by himself. And they kill him? Nah, what? That's cutthroat. That's cutthroat. Now, gunmen opened fire on his home, killing him. So Rasta City had a had a had a dog, somewhat of a big dog, within Rasta City. You know, he had his own area. You know, and I wouldn't too much say he was a punk, but how the Muslim gang approached now. Now, now one thing about the Muslim gang, man, when they come, they come. They don't hop out five people and just start walking up to you and nah, man they hop out five people with assault rifles and they start playing, killing everything so for him to have seen who that was man he had to have known the business that they stood Ooh. on and what they came wanted to do he, uh, he had to go to you know what Damn. I'm saying now uh, he wasn't trying to die like a Rasta City gang lieutenant told the police 
there's going to be a bloodbath after the death of three men who were protesting. Now, the Roster City member said to the news in his own words, if you are a police this week, you are marked for death. Damn. If you so happen to become a police this week, you are marked for death. What? These niggas is scared. They're the real Jason and Freddy. Like, what do y'all mean? Y'all, 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 y'all ain't even scared of the police. Y'all are knocking the police off the map as well. Y'all knocking their heads off their shoulders as well. <sighs> what the? That's that's crazy. Man or woman, once you become police, you are marked for death. After we deal with the police, we will deal with the ministers. This is for years of police oppressing us. Now, a 17 and a 16 year old were on their way home in a taxi cab when Muslim gang members stopped the taxi cab and dragged both of them out of the cab, killing both of the teens. They Damn. were killed for successfully trying to bring together a ceasefire from the Rasta city and Muslim gangs territory. And they just so happened to live in the Muslim gang territory. Damn. Bro, he just go end it like that? Bro, he just ended it like that. Wow, okay. Um, I gotta see what else going on because why he ended like that? <laughs> yeah, so we got to go, we got to keep, continue, dive deep, deeper and deeper and deeper into the ocean until we figure out everything that's going on. You feel me? So, yeah, I guess that's the end of that one. Uh, we gonna be back for more. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Jay Sauce, I'm out this over.